Okay, we're going to show you how to use Claire to correct images. This example is going to work with two different images, although the images both have a color target in them, which you can see over here. We're going to use the color target in the first image to correct the second image. So, here's our example. There's a picture of a, of a piece of artwork, and here's the color target. And you can see by the lighting that this was really badly lit. It was all lit by fluorescent. So, the first thing to do is we need to isolate the color target and because this is, is uh, vertically oriented we need to rotate the, uh, rotate the image and then Claire uses the crop window to define the target area so I'll take the crop window and drag over the target like this and I'll go ahead and, and zoom in a bit so it's easier to see there it is and now over here in, in Claire, here's the Claire window, we we'll pick our target, which will be a 30 patch QP card, and we click uh, Rescan. And you see that the target patches have appeared over at the crop window, but they're not properly aligned on this side, so the crop window is a bit too large. So we drag the crop window a little bit smaller and click the Rescan button in Claire again. Still got some overlap problems here, so we'll make the crop window just a little bit smaller once more and click rescan again. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now the next important thing to do is to match exposure to what the card expects. So I'm going to click the exposure checker button here which is next to the analyze checkbox and now Claire has changed the window to show correct exposure as compared to the card. All the blue here shows that the card is very underexposed. So I'm going to use Bibble's built-in exposure slider to, to ramp up the exposure you can see how as things change we get some red patches and some blue patches and some gray. Red means overexposed so right now this shows that the target is slightly overexposed at exposure 1.2 so we turn it down to 1.1 now we got mostly gray and a few reds and a few blues so that's about perfect. Now at, at this time Claire has already calculated the color settings so all you need to do is uh, go to any image that you want to correct for the lighting at this situation and click apply. I'll say that again. If you see this stuff on the screen then the calculation and the correction has already been completed. You don't need to do it again. There's no nothing further to push. So I'm going to click on this other image here, the frog, which has not been corrected. I'm going to zoom out and I'm just going to go over here to correction hit apply and that's it you're done I image is, is color corrected based on the, the the problems in the other image now Claire has got some other settings uh, at the bottom for color correction so here in the, the color correction group uh, you can see the name of the file the correction came from so you can always go back to it uh, you turn enable off you see the original color uh, turn white balance on um, that just uses a white balance. It doesn't correct color saturation. And uh, what the exposure button does is it actually alters uh, the, the, the gamma curve of the image to match the gamma curve of the target. And it's really important to not use exposure unless the image you're correcting is the exact same camera exposure as the image with the target card on it as otherwise the gamma curve will be corrupted and, and lighting won't look right at all. That's really intended for uh, manual exposures and capturing artworks under fixed studio conditions. Um, so pretty much that's it. it Claire is quite simple. You, you, you go through, you, you, you find the image with the uh, target in it, drag the crop window around the target, uh, make sure everything is, uh, is properly centered on the points, click rescan and uh, check the exposure and go to another image and click apply and, and you're done.